Is it planned or possible to give us a feature to save loadouts in a number of profile slots so that we can just press a key or click a button and automatically change loadouts? It is certainly possible and something we've discussed on the team. Um, no reason we shouldn't do it. All right. Uh, yeah. Pretty straightforward answer. Yeah. Um, do you have any intention of being able to keep parts from weapons after buying a replacement? So this is another one that we've talked a lot about on the design team, and we know what we want to do. Um, and, and that is let you keep items for that weapon on that weapon. So instead of destroying your scope or letting you put it on another gun, you've always got that scope to switch back to on the gun you so put on. So like an unlock system unlock on the system. weapon, but on yeah. that weapon as opposed to in general. So that's a, that's the right balance for us between uh, the economy and... And would that be per weapon or per weapon uh, I think it would probably be per weapon. Uh, it makes more sense. Okay. Um, uh, each, each weapon is a little miniature uh, experience that you can unlock and, and customize. Uh, if you think of your, your your weapon in Jero is like your tank or your mech or whatever else in a lot of other games. Uh, so you get to tweak it within there, and it gives you the flexibility to, to change things. So I think that's the way. Well, that'll be awesome. That. Yeah, it'll be a lot better. Yeah, yeah, because I know I blew through a couple thousand RP over the weekend because I was playing with the Mark III SP, and I was like, do I want a silencer? Do I not want a silencer? Yeah. Do I want? One? And so yeah, I, I burned through a lot of them. I don't want to buy two so guns. So I'll personally be looking to forward to that one. Yep. Yeah. Or experimenting with scopes, man. Do I want a red yeah. dot open on this one or a phantom? I don't know. Yeah, I think players are kind of hungry for that, like, um, metagaming, that toying with, mm -hmm. like, well, this or that. Because right now it's kind it's of expensive. It's just a little too expensive, a little too punishing. Yeah. Yep. Well, um, got my fingers crossed on that one. That'll be fun. Uh, any chance of being able to customize the look and feel of weapons and armor? I think this is talking mainly about cosmetics. Uh, yeah, so we talk a lot about things like that. I We're talking a lot about it. I don't want to tell you where we're at right now because I don't feel like we're solid uh, as much as we are in some other areas. Customization uh, and giving players a bit more of that is a hot topic and something that we're pretty passionate about here on the team. So uh, we've got a lot of ideas. And as some of those firm up, and we decide which ones we're going to do first. I look forward to sharing those with you guys. Uh, can we at least get rabbits hats for GMs? Like with the little floppy ears? No. <laughs> if we're going to get rabbits hats, <laughs> they shouldn't just be for GMs. They should be like for Easter. <laughs> <laughs> or April Fools, like last year. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, you know. Or maybe maybe an April Fools joke on Easter and an Easter thing on April Fools. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Let's why do not? it. Um, uh, but, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> um, have you checked, uh, this is the last question, um, a player wants to know if you've checked out the zoo in Singapore, or if you have ever had a drink at the Glass Hotel, because apparently that was the place to be back in 1986. Okay, uh, so I'm going to answer those questions in reverse. I've never <laughs> had a drink at the Glass Hotel. Um, I don't even know where it is. I'm sorry. Uh, however, I have been to the zoo. Well, now Singapore. you have a new place to go. I'm going to have to check it out, see what, what drinks they serve, hopefully some beer. Um, see where it is, see if it's still open. Things change fast in Singapore. You'd be surprised at, just in the couple of years I've been here, how many new buildings come up, how fast they come up. It's crazy. Uh, city of the future. I've been to the zoo. They've got a, the day zoo and a night safari zoo, which is really cool. Um, it's the second best zoo I've ever been to in my life. I'm from San Diego, and the San Diego Zoo. Uh, <laughs> so Singapore Zoo is great. San Diego Zoo, Wild Animal Park. I think they still take the cake. Oh, you have a lurker. Uh, it yeah. looks like a, sa a wild samurai has a, appeared. It's, it's a it's a wild sam indeed. <laughs> Ooh, it's a it's a horned samurai. <laughs> it's well, it's telling me he has a nice rack. Sam. <laughs> You have a nice rack. <laughs> no, 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 this one. Like antlers. <laughs> See, I 
took that the took that the right way. You took it the wrong way. All right, cool. The right way. Sam, do you want to <laughs> do you want to say anything to our players? Our players are here. Yeah. Oh. Not live. Not live. It's for Sorry. Yeah. Hello, players. Keep shooting each other in the face. That's that's always good. <laughs> So you heard it straight from the man. Keep yep. shooting people in the face. Yes. All right. Cool. Well, um, I guess that's it for this uh, edition of our dev Q and A. Okay. So if you if you have any other questions, visit our forums. You can put them there. Uh, in the meantime, for updates on Ghost Recon Online, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus, uh, as well as subscribe to uh, the RSS feed on our website. Um, or just keep an eye on your launcher, because we put lots of interesting stuff there. Uh, other than that, thank you uh, for your time, Jesse, and Sam, and the head cake, and everything in Singapore. Uh, our players love the game, the staff loves the game, I love the game. Uh, you guys are doing a great job, so keep it up. Thanks, you guys too. Bye. <laughs>